Thanks, Gary. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, for those of you that were there for the morning sessions, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I learned quite a bit even here as the uh, uh, CEO of, of, of Jernix uh, over the, the the sessions today. I hope you guys did too. And uh, I really want to just uh, re thank you guys for your time today. I know it's a lot to to do. Hopefully, the breaks in between gave you time to to get to your work. I know it did for me. Uh, but I've also really gotten a lot out of these sessions. Um, really, really appreciate your time. And like Kerry said, I, I want to talk to you uh, here just for a, a quick moment before I hand it over to Meredith about uh, it, how Jernix is, as Kerry said, adapting to, to your needs faster than we ever have before. And we're trying to anticipate new needs and opportunities. Basically, what can we do to be a better partner to you? Uh, that's what this session is about. So if I can get my things to advance. You know, as I mentioned in the morning, uh, I started here almost three years ago. Uh, the mission that Kurt, our CEO, uh, gave to me was improving the operations of this business uh, into a highly performant engine. Uh, and when he, when he, you know, when we talked about that, when we first started talking before I came on board, I was reminded of something that a friend of mine uh, uh, now does. He recently sold his very lucrative. Uh, recruiting business here in Austin, Texas, to start a company that retrofits uh, vintage cars that either you bring to him or he finds for you uh, into an electric car. So you can take things like a 68 Porsche or a 73 Alfa Romeo, and he'll take it and he'll put in a performant, high performant uh, electric engine and, and, and kind of basically what's old is new. And that's really not unlike what we're doing now here at Jernix. You know, with this company, uh, it's got great bones, great structure, fantastic uh, design, kind of like, like the, these, these uh, cars that I'm talking about that are timeless. It's been around for almost 24 years, and now we're taking it to a next level. We're, we're uh, uh, putting it on a, on a, on a path towards uh, growth, uh, accelerated growth, and change that I think is positive for, for all involved. So uh, some dimensions of acceleration, the ones that I wanted to talk to you, talk to you about today, operational changes, uh, our growth, which is uh, increasing, uh, the, the level with which we in, engage with our customers, such as yourself, and then changes to our products and our services, and I'll go into each one of these fairly briskly. So from an operational standpoint, uh, we, one of the first things that we did here, in fact, the very first thing that we did, we had this thing called a rally cry, which is, a, you know, basically what's most important right now to the organization. We called Get Fit. And by that, we meant that we, we started to really look at the company uh, operationally from a metrics perspective with uh, key performance indicators all around the company for different important things for us to, to measure and improve, kind of like what I said earlier at the beginning of the day, what gets, what gets measured gets done, right? Um, and uh, we, so we had to instrument you know, the company for that and make sure that we had you know, dashboards and, and just the general awareness of what the most important things were to keep track of both from a departmental standpoint and then all across the, the, the company. Um, and we changed processes as a result of that to make things more efficient. Um, and we worked on what we call organizational health, which is about making sure that all across the company, uh, everybody here communicates with each other with, with clarity and often, right? That we all have uh, a real clear picture of what's going on in the other department. So why, why, why do you care about these things? Well, the better we operate, then the more effective we can be in serving your needs, all the way from support, and, and making sure that, you know, that, that, that you, not only are you getting the support you need, but that it's kind of right time, right place, right person, right? Uh, to our services team, uh, who you, whom you heard from earlier today, uh, to our account managers who deal with you on an on a ongoing basis, understanding your needs and translating that into uh, either, you know, could be product enhancements or it could be changes to the way that we do business with you or, or new things that you might want uh, from, a, from a customization standpoint too the way that we improve our products um, and, and, and even in our security and our compliance, all of these things that uh, help make your service better, more, more safer, uh, more efficient, and ultimately more valuable to, to, to you guys. And it also then, these things help us with growth, which brings us to, to my next 
dimension of acceleration. Um, uh, we are experiencing faster growth today than we ever have in, in the history of the company, at least uh, consistent growth. Um, we've grown, I think, every single quarter since I've been here. I know every year since, we, since I've been here, and we're continuing to grow. Uh, and this, this year is probably going to be our best, best yet. Um, as you can see, we've got, you know, 380 customers growing faster than ever. Uh, I was just reviewing our customer list during one of the breaks and was super pleased with, with how it has expanded over the past six months or so. Um, our average new client is three times larger than what the average new client was even at the end of 2018. So in just, say, 14, 15 months, we've tripled the size of the people that are interested in what Jernix has to offer. And our partners and our resellers are increasingly uh, marketing Jernix in, in ways that we haven't seen before. We've got some really stellar partners that uh, understand the value that we bring uh, in general and then to their own customer base. So again, why do, you, why do you care about this? As we grow, we improve our ability to invest in our products and our services, which in turn increases the value to, to you guys. You guys are paying for on, on a subscription basis, most of you, for the, for the software. And, uh, and, and with that comes, uh, you, you, you hopefully expect more value all the time, just like we do from you know, anything we subscribe to in life, right? Netflix or whatever, you want, it's the same old stuff there all the time. It's, it's, it's not as valuable to you. Um, also, with more customers, as we learned even earlier today, uh, you, we then have a larger user community uh, with whom you, you can share and learn best practices, uh, hints, tricks, things that have to do with, you know, our products, sure, but also even things apart from or ancillary to or related to what we have to offer. Uh, and that's a, that's a good thing for, for you guys. We've enhanced the, the level with which we engage with our customers, with you guys. Um, we really do view our relationship with you as a partnership. You know, if I haven't already talked to you, um, I, I want to extend to you my earnest invitation to consider me your ombudsman for anything where you're not getting what you, what you feel like you need, or if you just want to have a kind of a, a different type of conversation that's, that's maybe more um, uh, you know, broader or longer view than you might have on your day-to-day -day interactions with, with Jernix. Um, and my email address is easy to remember. It's lance at, at jernix.com. Uh, we, we really do view this as a partnership. We want you guys to see us as a partner in your business that helps you be better. Um, I tell the people that work for me, my job is always to make your job easier, and I, and, and I feel the same way about our customers. I want to make your job easier, more efficient, more productive. Nothing would make me happier. Um, from a business perspective. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, my kids make me happy. Uh, involving you frequently, we, 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 wanna look, we wanna give you guys an opportunity to interact with us um, at, at every single point of contact in a way that's meaningful and, and, and rich, right? So um, when we onboard new customers, uh, we have a whole slew of different types of communications that we do at that point to make sure that they are heard and that they also are clear on what they're getting, you know, for what they're, what they're paying for. It's very important. Uh, after every single one of our support interactions, we now send out uh, a, a very quick one-click survey about how did, what did you think about it, and we use that. We look at that every month as a, as a leadership team to see how the trends are in terms of how people feel about our customer interactions. And I'm, I'm happy to say, you know, and thanks in no small part to people like Matt, uh, who you heard from earlier today, uh, it is top notch. I mean, it's almost always uh, the very, very highest it, it could possibly be. They, they get disappointed when they get one like so-so response uh, out of out of hundreds. Um, frequent account health calls where your account manager uh, it, it ought to be talking with you on a, on a fairly regular basis. Uh, sometimes deeply, like an hour and a half discussion about all the things that are going on in your company from a from a uh, workforce perspective and what we can do to help in that regard or what changes we might have to make uh, uh, to, to accommodate those changes on your side. Uh, our customer webinars, distinct from what we're doing here, right, this is a customer conference as you see there on the next slide, but our webinars are something we put on frequently. Uh, as I hope you guys are aware, we send out emails about that fairly often. Um, it could be on any one of the, any topic you can think of. Uh, we have them quite regularly, monthly, bi-monthly, uh, and they're about any number of different things uh, having to do with our product or with industry trends. Uh, our community website, which uh, we've had links to in, the, in today's um, uh, conference, 
but happy to provide you with that. I don't have it uh, linked here, but uh, we have a, a link to our uh, uh, community website available to you. And there's conversations on there. There's knowledge base information on there. There's an opportunity to request, make feature requests on there. All sorts of, of interactive options for you. For those of you who, you know, rather not pick up a phone, but you just want to have some level of, of clarity or make a request or something like that. And then in our product development process, which we'll talk about a little bit more deeply when, when Meredith takes over here, she's going to talk to you about how you can get involved in our product development process from soup to nuts, from the very beginning before we even do anything all the way through to the end when we're getting ready to release and all points in between. And then uh, fourthly here, uh, speaking of which, uh, we, we, we have been making significant product and service improvements. I hope you guys see it. I hope that they're meaningful to you. I really do. And if they're not, please let me know. Please let me know what we can do to, to be better. Talk to Meredith, talk to me, talk to your account manager, anybody. Uh, but uh, definitely uh, let us know if, if you feel like we're doing a good job or if you feel like we could be doing a better job. If there are gaps that you're seeing, maybe something's changed, whether it's external to your company or internal to your company or just an opportunity to improve that you're thinking about, by all means, let us know. Uh, but we are really serious about offering you best in class uh, for this. So we've made investments in the user in interface, in our mobile product. You've seen both of those today. Um, in our reporting, you saw quite a bit on, on that and a, and a whole lot more. And again, uh, we'll talk about that shortly when Meredith gets to her part. Uh, we've made a, a significant investment in our hosting infrastructure. Um, as you probably know, we've moved over to Amazon Web Services, which has radically improved our, the, the, our ability to manage that for uh, the operational um, reliability of, of, of the system. And, and from a security standpoint, there's so many advantages to using that infrastructure. We're not married to it. Uh, you know, we, we, we constantly, every year, we could kind of go back and look at other options. But right now, this is absolutely the best for us and, and, and the best for you. And then lastly here, on that note, new and improved security changes um, and, and compliance regimen, uh, including most recently uh, uh, auditing ourselves for, for GDPR compliance for those of you who are affected by that, which is not only people who are based in the EU, but also for people who operate in the EU. And just real quick, punctuation on the product side, you know, our product investments, the, 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 the point of these are to really accelerate the value that you get from, from, from Jurnix. You know, 2019 saw the biggest investment in this company's history in, in product enhancements. And enhancements really sell it short. We really basically overhauled it, both in terms of the user experience for Jurnix 12 and our all new mobile app. Uh, if you guys haven't seen these things, I highly encourage you uh, to, to get your hands on them and try them out, uh, roll them out in your company, talk to us about rolling it out. As Amanda said, we can help you with adoption across your, your, your company. And in 2020, uh, even more value delivery is, is on the way. It's already in progress. And uh, I'd like to, to, to like you guys to see what's going on.